Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be quite expansive, not just with their books, novels, comics, and video games, but also, let's not forget about their new Star Wars trilogy of films, their new Star Wars universe, then more to arrive on Disney Plus and in theaters by Bob Iger and Chapek. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Disney Star Wars is that we do know that as of right now, a lot of fans are very much, you know, excited and curious about what's to happen to the new universe, right? Can Disney really pull it off to bring Star Wars and steer things in the right direction? That's the biggest question of all. Now, obviously, I'm very hopeful about this because based on what we have seen with The Mandalorian Season 2, things really are starting to shape up for the best. And this week, by the way, with The Mandalorian, we got a big surprise coming our way with the key character, Ahsoka Tano. It's going to be big. It's really going to highlight the series and more to come. Now, with that being said, of course, what's really intriguing all has to do with Disney and Lucasfilm's stance on Star Wars and what it really means for the future, right? Now, the sequel trilogy, obviously, we know that that was a mess. It had a lot of production issues with Episode 9, and Episode 8 was the very movie that created a great divide between the Star Wars fandom. So, we've seen a lot of issues happen on and off throughout the past couple of years. However, what's really intriguing all has to do with Adam Driver. With the sequel trilogy now over, both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars universe as well as their new trilogy of movies. Now, it's explained that currently both, of course, Adam Driver and Kathleen Kennedy before in the past have had issues on set with Episode 9. As of right now, many changes are being made to Lucasfilm in order to evolve the Star Wars franchise further. However, it's noted that in a recent interview, Adam Driver recently unveiled new details about Kathleen Kennedy. Adam Driver went on to unveil that Kathleen Kennedy was the one responsible for choosing the title The Rise of Skywalker in order to attract more fans into the theater seats. So mind you, let's stop right here for a second, is that that is the main reason as to why we got that title. It's all because of Kathleen Kennedy to attract more fans into the theater seats. And I think that's just very irresponsible and it really kind of misled a lot of Star Wars fans out there. A lot of fans were left wondering when that title was unveiled at Star Wars Celebration back in April of 2019. A lot of fans were very pumped up to see that name Skywalker in the title. Could it have to do with Anakin, maybe Luke, or something else? A lot of fans were going wild. Only to find out that throughout all the reshoots, all it had to do was the fact that Rey calls herself a Skywalker. Now, beyond all of that, all right, Driver unveiled that Kathleen Kennedy was even approached all right, by Bob Iger to change the title of the movie in order to prevent fans from feeling misled about the, about the film. However, Kennedy did not agree with Bob Iger and convinced him that the title they chose was the best way to create box office success. Driver admits that he was worried about what the fans would actually think about the title of the movie and its turnout. Driver also went on to reveal that it was Kathleen Kennedy's idea to end the marketing of the movie back in 2018 during the holiday season due to reshoots and that this is what made the film a very difficult situation when it came to promoting the movie. Driver reveals that J.J. Abrams wanted one Skywalker to live and that Kennedy refused to do any of this at all whatsoever. So, like I said before, obviously Adam Driver is a great actor. I think that he's got a lot of talent. I feel that he was shortchanged when it came to Episode 9. There could have been so much more explored with the character of Ben Solo. And mind you, uh, we do know that Ben Solo's short screen time was all because of Kathleen Kennedy as well. She didn't want him to have as much screen time as originally planned by George Lucas, J.J. Abrams, and Chris Terrio. Now, the Skywalkers, they're really the main selling point. You know, a lot of fans love the Skywalkers. They are the selling point. They are the core of the story. They are, they are basically the glue of Star Wars, as I like to say. Now, when we look at Episode 9, obviously the reshoots that went into play here, a lot of problems came out of that. Uh, we've seen a lot of inconsistencies with the movie's pace at times in the first and second act. We can obviously tell. And Kathleen Kennedy, you know, still stands by 
for what she did with The Last Jedi, for what she did with Episode Nine, and everything related to that. And I think that, you know, obviously Adam Driver, you know, has a great point here. The fact that he was worried as an actor, you know, John Boyega even expressed this not too long ago, is that a lot of the cast and crew were very worried about Episode Nine and how it was going to make them look, how it was going to affect their careers. And it did affect their careers to some extent. I mean, as of right now, you know, Daisy Ridley is not getting as much offers as she was when The Force Awakens came out. So, we can see that a lot of change is being made to some of the core actors within the sequel trilogy. And that's exactly why John and Oscar Isaac are not coming back to the franchise at all. So, like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.